Live and on the air from the home of the Tigers, Comerica Park here in Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers. Who's going to win the battle between these two? We'll see next. Spencer Turnbull, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matt, five full innings for this guy in his last one. You couldn't really consider that a powerhouse outing. He was able to get a no decision, but I'm sure he and the team... Coming to the plate now, Theo Jamison, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Jamison. First pitch of the at-bat. Runner goes. Hit swung out and missed the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. I think coming into this series, they knew he was one of the guys that were going to have to keep quiet. But he's setting the tone right here in the first with the steal of second. He could end up being a big factor. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. This is why it's so important to give your cleanup hitter an opportunity to hit with runners in scoring position. He does just what he's supposed to do, lacing a double and driving in a run, just like you draw it up. Standing in, Kristen Stewart. And the Tigers trying to make this first inning even bigger here. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Tigers get just the one. We'll move on to the second inning here at Comerica Park. The Tigers lead it one to nothing. So here's the cleanup hitter, Theo Jamison. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next A.B. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Pitch popped up. Nunez waits on it. One down. Ready for another chance. Estevan Moreno. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Moreno. Here's the 0-1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Jamison is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Next up for Detroit, Theo Jamison. Lead to go. For the Tiger, the center fielder, Theo. Jamison. First pitch of the at bat. Yeah, looked like he was swinging no matter what that time as he goes way out of the zone at that offering. It's 0 and 1. Weak rounder back to dig, the mound. Dig, dig, dig. Throw to first is yeah. in time for the first down. Stepping into the box, DJ Stewart. He was a ground out victim last time up. No outs, nobody on. Sent out to straightaway center field. Jamison is under it, makes the play, run away.
Into the box, Theo the Jamison. Bat. The winning the run is at first base. Theo Jamison. Here's the first pitch. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Soft liner to the Attaboy. right side. Find the ball. Find the ball. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw comes into the infield, and the winning run moves up to second now with nobody out. Well, that's got to be frustrating right there. You execute a pitch, a nice, good pitch right there. Batter's able to get a little lucky. Your Stayed please. through it, caught it off the now end of the bat. Not his best swing, Tigers. but he's able to find a hole Number in the one. outfield. Franklin. Alfredo. What? What time is it? Uh, where am I? Oh, man. It's over? Man, I thought this game was never going to end, but it did. And anytime you can win a marathon game like that, it feels awfully good. Close one tonight, two to one, the final score. Pablo Silva claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Tuesday night baseball now from Comerica Park in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers. These two should provide some big time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Number 71 is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that, picking up the win. There's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two. Coming to the plate now, Batting Theo four. Jamison. Up and he could give his guys an early Theo. lead if he can come through here. Jamison. He's set and the pitch. And a feeble swing that time. It's 0-1. Guys, the Orioles, as they begin play here tonight, they come in losers of seven of their last ten games, but did earn the victory last time out. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with down, this down, team. Down, 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 And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Tigers come up empty in the first. We've played an inning at Comerica Park with no score. Ready now. Dwight Smith Jr. and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. No score here as we play inning number two. Pulled toward right center field. Jamison is in pursuit, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. The pitcher was upset about the call in the previous pitch, which could have been strike three. Then he serves up one for a double. Good example of why you have to have a short memory in this game. You let those things get to you, and oftentimes they lead to more mistakes. In now, Rio Ruiz. Batting eight. The first baseman, Rio Ruiz. Comes set, the 0-1. Lifted in the air to center field. Jamison on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Orioles strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Digging in for his second at bat, no Theo Jamison. Here comes the first pitch. Started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Jamison 
A six foot five inch left handed hitter but throws right handed. He was selected in the 15th round back in the draft of 2019. Hey this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. The next 0 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer at that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's Standing in, Rio Ruiz. Now for it. one for him the here in this baseball. one. Rio Ruiz. Hit high and deep to right center. Jamison giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Stepping into the box. Theo the Jamison. He looked to bounce back field. after striking Theo. out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. One ball and two strikes to count. The one two had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Ground ball foul down the left side. If I'm on the mound right now I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. Oh, and they pulled the a string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. In now for the O's, DJ Stewart, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and he pulls the fastball high in the air toward deep right center. And that's going to do it as the catch is made. And the Tigers will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. And that one run held up tonight. one nothing the final. Detroit used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Number 71 earns the win his second. John Means is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Jesse Biddle closes the door for the save, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB. Afternoon baseball from the Motor City, Comerica Park here in downtown Detroit. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Detroit Tigers. Going to be an interesting contrast in styles in this one as one of baseball's hardest throwers goes head-to-head -head with a top finesse arm. Next. Michael Fulmer, a right-hander from the Sooner State, gets the starting assignment here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, thanks, man. On the bump, Michael Fulmer. Boy, what really turned his career around, learning the straight changeup. Always had a big arm when he came up in the Mets farm system, but since he Digging in, Theo Jamison. He's two for seven in the series so far. The center fielder. First pitch coming. Here it is. 
Jameis there. And he fouls this one off. Well, guys, these Orioles entering play today. They came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Matty, we've seen some good baseball in the first two games that is set. And expect another close one here. Both of the first two games decided by one run. You know, D-Roll, when you get in these series like this, when one run means so much, you like to be able to be the team to score first. But both these games have been very close, and it's going to boil down to who gets the big hits. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going. And the Tigers have cut this to a two to one ball game. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. Settling in now, Theo now Jameson. Back. He went the deep in his first at bat. Theo. We'll see what he's got in store for Jameson. us here. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. And try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. All Strike one, one to start the at bat. A one pitch on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And another foul ball. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right. Now to the plate, Theo Jamison. He looked to bounce Look back after field. striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one, and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gaffer to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Simeon leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Fouled away. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Mullins has a play. Come on, go hard. You're scoring. And go the hard. inning is over. One left for Detroit. They're down three to two. Stepping in, Javier Baez. He went deep last time up. Javier Baez. The one-two. High and deep to right center. Jamison is after it. But it's over his head and it hops the wall. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And digging in next at the plate will be Ronaldo Nunez. Oh one, here's the pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. Going back is the right fielder. And that one is gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center. Fourth home run here in the early going. And just like that, it's now a 5-2 ball game. 
Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Matty V, this is kind of a mini home. Digging in to try it again. Luis Carmona. He singled his last time up. Baseman. Luis Carmona. Here comes the nothing in two pitch. High in the air out to center field. Jamison waits on it. Makes the play one away. Ready once again. Theo Jamison. He flew Still out in his last at bat. Theo. Almost Matty. Almost Jameson. went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Of yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happened? Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. 5-2 to two the final today. The Baltimore Orioles used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Dylan Bundy earns the win his second. Pablo Silva wraps it up for the save his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Almost ready for game time at Rogers Center as the roof is shut to keep us nice and warm. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Detroit Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays. Toronto attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Thomas Pannone gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days. Standing in, Theo Jamison. And the Tigers trying to make this first shooter. inning even Theo. bigger here. Jamison. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Easy fly ball right, into up, shallow up, up, center up, field. Senzel ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So a moment now to take a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Detroit Tigers. Dero, what do you got on this lineup in the series opener? Maddie, this is going to be a fun lineup for me to watch. I get fired up watching these guys because they all have a plan. It works for them. They follow the scouting reports. They grind it out in a video room. I'm interested to see what they've come up with. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Theo Jamison. He flew field. out in his last at bat. Theo. Almost, Matty. Jameson. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So with that, the top of the third inning will continue at least one that? more batter. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Oh, this lineup is so deep, one through nine. They could put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an Number easy 42. one for this pitcher. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. One left for Detroit, but they still lead this one four to two. Ready for another shot now. Theo now Jamison. He singled his last time up. Theo Jamison. Here's the first pitch to him. 
Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter to go a little bit outside his zone. Hit hard back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Smoke that one. That a boy. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. How about it? Number 42. Up next steps Kristen Stewart, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. This yeah, is on the ground over the first. And that's through into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Ready for another chance. Number 42. Number and we'll 42. see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Grounded up, weakly up, toward up. third. He's got it. Throw to second for the force out and the side is retired. It's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Tigers six, the Blue Jays two. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Oh, David Peralta. It was a walk in field. his last trip. Two runs, four hits. Oh, and no oh. errors in the game for Toronto. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Digging in once again, Theo Up Jameson. Next to the, Tigers, the center fielder, Theo Jameson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. I had him lunging at that one out of the zone, and that's strike one. Hey, he's going to have to set his sights a little bit more over the heart of the plate. I can't have one of my best left-handed power hitters reaching and taking an ugly swing like that. And this misses outside, the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. And it's one and two. One and two. Seven runs, 13 hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is your chain. Now, Theo Jamison, he'll lead things off against the same the reliever that finished the off fuel. the last inning. Theo. Well, you don't see in this day too Jameson. many relievers going multiple innings, but guys have to earn that trust from their managers. We'll see how he handles it here. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. That pitch just had too much velocity on it for you to catch up to that. Unless you're cheating to a high fastball above the belt and you're all in, I say you got to find a way to lower your sights or it's going to be a tough game. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Theo Jamison is retired to kick off the inning. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. Eight to two tonight's final. The Detroit Tigers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Daniel Norris gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Thomas Pannone struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.
tonight's paid attention. We are north of the border in Toronto, and the retractable roof is closed for comfort. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Detroit Tigers and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Ryan Barucki gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Stepping in, Theo Jamison. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Theo Jamison. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. First pitch sinker misses in on the hands that time. It's a ball and no strikes. And Dan Dero, the Blue Jays, as they enter play here this afternoon, they do come off a victory their last time out. However, that came on the heels of a streak that watched them lose seven in a row prior to that. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Yeah. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a series right here. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. All right, guys, here's the defensive alignment for the Toronto Blue Jays today. And let's take a look at David Peralta. Bazooka arm in the outfield, obviously. He was originally signed as a pitcher. Didn't work out. Reset the battery and came back as a big league outfielder. Impressive. Stepping in, Dominic Smith. And he's looking to turn the page. That's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Grichik, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll be off the wall in right center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Wow, he puts a serious charge into this ball, ends up splitting the two outfielders, bangs up against the wall in right center, and he cruises into second, knowing he can't hit the ball much harder than that. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. Peralta. The 1 1 home. Hit in the air to center field. Moving under it, Jamison. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Theo Jamison. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. The wind up and the 0-1. Outside for a ball, one and one. One one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. Yeah, and he might strike out for a second time right here. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. Next will be the designated hitter, Domingo Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get them. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Stewart looking up. And it's gone as they add still another.
It's a solo shot here for Domingo Santana. Second home run early in the year, and the Blue Jays are running away with it here. It's now a 5 0 ball game. Well, he was over in the series before that blast, so that's just about as welcome a sight as he could hope for. He got a pitch to his liking and took out a lot of frustration with that swing. Into the box now, Theo Jamison. The center fielder, Theo Jamison. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, that's Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. And he fouls this one off. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Back-to-back -back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. Simeon leads off first with one away. Hard sinker misses two and two. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. He's just having a hard time putting this guy away. Four foul balls in this A.B. I don't think this pitcher has got something that he can get a swing and a miss on. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta is under it. He's got it and there are two down now. So one away now in the Toronto seventh. And that brings up the exciting Lotus Guriel Jr. Lotus. One one. Pop straight up. Silva has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Striding in, Theo Jamison. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep. His last AB certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Look at him fight to stay inside that baseball and push it in a 5.5 hole. That's the Tony Gwynn spot. At the plate, Kristen Stewart. He singled his last time up. Number yeah, guys, 14. everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this, only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. But pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. Heading out towards shallow right. Richard is over. Two down. Now this is cut and thrown to first. On to first, a double play. Digging in, Domingo Santana. He's now got a hit in three at bats to this point. Domingo Santana. Three two pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Moving under it, Jamison looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. choice to let the center guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 10-3 at the end of this contest. The Toronto Blue Jays hosted 15 total hits in the ballgame. Ryan Barucki earns the win his second.
Spencer Turnbull couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Tim Meza works two full innings in relief to record the save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Thank you.